Mark your own. Here we go. Uh, and Cirque, she gets everything right. Angle one, how big? 65? I agree. How come? Okay. What we're going to start to do over the next couple of days is, Rob, I'm not just going to accept an answer. As soon as you tell me the answer, I'm going to say, prove it. Convince me. So we're going to start to actually list what rule we use. Could you shut that door behind you for me? Thank you. Take home quiz. Get it out. Get it out. Get it out. Question two. How big? David, what'd you get? 52? I agree. How come? What's the fancy word for that? Sup? Yep. Angle three. Rob, how big? 125. Is he right? People nodding. How come? We're going to eventually call that angles at a point. Add to 360, but I usually just shorten that angles at a point. Angle 5. Oh, I see letter X. That's 104. We call that vertically opposite. Oh, angle 6 is 76. Sup? Elementary. Angle 7 is also 76, and there's a bunch of ways. I could have gone supplementary. I could have gone vertically opposite. I could have gone angles at a point. But probably most of you would have just gone supplementary or vertically opposite. Okay. Angle 1, how big? Adrian, what'd you get for angle 1, kiddo? 65? This one here? I think I disagree with you. Oh, 115? How come? Vertically opposite, we're going to call that. Yep. Did you get angle 2? I agree with you. How come? We called that the Z angle, alternate interior, we're going to call that. Uh, angle 3, that's uh, 65, yes? Supplementary. Or interior angles on the same side of the transversal. I also thought co-interior. Those are all the words we use for that. Tanner letter C right there. Uh, angle 4. Uh, okay. Okay. Because the only thing that I have is this 57. Then, Nikki, it's got to be telling me what angle 4 is. Are they the same size? They don't look the same size. Oh, the co-interior, the interior angles on the same side of the transversal, or I ought to thought, they added to 180. Angle 4 is going to end up being 180 minus 57, 123? No, yes. Yes, people nodding. 123. Angle 5 is also 123, vertically opposite. Angle 6 is going to be 57 degrees. Corresponding or sub, elementary. <laughs> Angle 7. Letter C. They're both on the inside of the letter C. 104 degrees, they add to 180. Angle 8. I got a sideways Z. Angle 8, 104 degrees, they add to 180. Uh, angle 1, it's either the 55 or the 100. Oh, Joel, can you see Sesame Street is brought to you by letter F on its side? If you have a letter F, these two angles are the same size. Fangles, 100. Uh, angle 2, there's also a letter F this way. Yeah. Oh, Mr. Duick, let's use the highlight. Yep. Sideways, slanty, backwards, letter F. Uh, so these two angles are the same. Angle 2, 55 degrees. Also F angles or fangles, or uh, corresponding, we called that. Angle 3. Oh, these three add to 180 degrees. 25?
25. Angle 4. How do I know angle 4 is 100? Ah, nice. There's two ways to get it. You could have gone those form a straight line supplementary, but that would require you to do some subtraction. Tanner, if you spotted the Z right away, you can get it just by saying, I know they're the same, which is a little less work in your brain. Of course, you should be doing more work in your brain. Never mind. Uh, what's this front page out of? Count them. Eighteen is Joel, right? Yep. Give yourself a little score out of. Whoop! Let's try that again. Give yourself a little score out of eighteen. That's easier to add up. How many eighteen out of eighteen? Woohoo! Back page. Now it gets a little tougher. Uh, angle five, fifty degrees. Angle six, forty-five degrees. Angle seven, whatever. One eighty minus fifty is one hundred and thirty minus forty-five. Eighty. Eighty-five. Angle 1, angles in a triangle. That's going to be 180 minus 42 minus 73. 65? For me? I think as you learn more, more, as diagrams get more complicated, there's probably more ways to find the angles. Some of the, the toughest questions to me are a very simple diagram. There's only one way to get there. Um, angle two, hey, that's sup, uh, 118. Angle three, hey, that's a triangle. It's going to be 180 minus 118 minus, what one up there, 37. Angle three, is it 25? Angle four, hey, this is an isosceles triangle. Uh, oh, angle 3 is 70 because it's isosceles. Angle 4 is 180 minus 70 minus 70, 40. Angle 5 and 6 are the same thing. What are they? Well, it's going to be 180 minus 108. I have 72 degrees left over. If I divide that by 2, Nikki, split the difference. Each one of these has to be 36 degrees because it's an isosceles triangle. And the last four, angle 1. Hmm. Well, I'm either going to use the 41, but it doesn't help me because I don't know angle 2, or I'm going to use this. When I look down there, I see a letter C, which means these two add to 180. And so, yes, I agree with whoever said that, 63. Angle 2, hey, angles on a line, supplementary. It's going to be 180 minus 41 minus 63, 76. Angle 3, I have a backwards letter C. These two add to 180 because the interior angles on the same side of the transversal. I ought sought, or what we also called co-interior. Uh, so it's going to be 139. And angle 4 is going to be the same as angle 3, 139. What's this page out of? Out of 14? Which means the whole quiz is out of, count them, 32. Can you give yourself a nice big score out of 32, please? And making sure your name is on them, put block D there. Giving yourself a score out of 32. Could you please pass them inwards?